Is, is, is this is this guy? He's gonna carry your bag all the way. I'm gonna marry him. You think so? Good luck with that. Who's gonna carry your power cords? He is. Look at him. He looks strong. All right. He's got a kitchen sink back here. He does have that. <laughs> it sounds hollow though. <laughs> He's all talk, no action. <laughs> He's all talk. day 13 we are we're a little tired I'm not gonna admit we got an early start we talked Very about how we always never get an early start well today we did and now we're tired I know but we got some great light for shooting we, this yeah morning. we have some some it's beautiful and here. hopefully we'll get in early yeah so we are leaving Granion and we don't really know where we're going I don't know where we're going today we're, we, we're deciding between 21 24 and 26 kilometers depending on how everyone everyone's doing yeah there wasn't exactly the best sleep last night so that's going to be the determining be, factor on how everyone th approaches the end of the that's day that's definitely going to impact our day considerably yeah no one slept well so but in the meantime oh my gosh it's beautiful it is bond was almost palpable solemn notes with our blood that were signed but time We never really celebrate the other provinces, but who cares? <laughs> new tradition, <laughs> new province. <laughs> so we have just exited the province of La Rioja, which I don't know, was what we walked the last hundred and something kilometers. And now we're in Castilla and Leon. We're gonna be in here for a while. And once again, mornings are fantastic. The light's great. The sun is just low enough that the pictures are amazing. The temperatures are cool. I'm still wearing my pajama bottoms underneath my shorts and people are all like chit chatty. So by the time you hit afternoon, I was like, oh, just give me, give me to my alberg so I can rest. But now is when we get the, the amazing conversations. Day 13, let's start with how we're feeling. Any aches and pains? No. Um, uh, actually, my back. Your back hurts. My body is sore, my feet are a little sore. Okay, I have one sore foot. Will? I'm doing fine. All right, so I think our soreness has contributed, not my sore foot, but the two of them, to our sleeping arrangements last night. We slept pretty poorly, right guys? We're gonna keep it positive because we had, an, oh, we had a great community, awesome volunteers where we stayed, a lovely meal, you guys played cards, we got to interact with a lot of people, but the sleeping situation was a little tough. You wanna explain it? We were on like the equivalent of three yoga mats on like a tile floor. And it was really cool. It was gold! And we did not come equipped with blankets or a pillow no. or anything like that. No, what we're hearing, it's unusually warm, unusually cold for June. So we just brought our sleep sacks, which is quite typical and many people did that. But because it's unusually cold, none of the places have, well, the, some have blankets. But very, it's about 50-50, you think, with blankets? Yeah. yeah. And so we just happened to land in one that was particularly cold on a particularly cold night without blankets and pillows. Um, we just, we made it work. We all huddled together. And I think since we had such a great evening with everyone, it kind of pulled us through, but we're, we're dragging today, right? Oh, yeah. We're dragging. How are you doing? Um. Lot was like a heating blanket. We lost him already. <laughs> so he snuggled right in between Avalon and I, and he was radiating heat all night. Thank goodness. You're a good soldier, Largo. Take one for the team. College? Yes. And you're hiking with how many people? About ten. And about ten of us, yeah. And is everyone from college? No. No. <laughs> so it's like a mix of people that um, we all are connected from 
everybody knows one person, this person knows another person, and they just invited a bunch of people. Like she knows, we have a priest in our group, so she oh, knows. Oh, so that'll priest. keep you safe from the Camino. Yes. <laughs> and does does he is he um, is he does he bless you guys like in the morning before you take off or anything like that? Does he? Well, if we do, so there's a thing called morning prayer. Yeah. We do morning prayer. There's a blessing. And <laughs> what is what does a hiking priest wear? He wears normal clothes. Normal. He wears normal clothes. <laughs> yeah. normal so he's clothes. not. We, I wouldn't see him hiking in his no. priest gear. Wouldn't, you wouldn't recommend. <laughs> him as a priest. Does he wear a big cross around his neck or anything that identifies no. him? No. <laughs> and is your plan to go all the way? Yes. The yes. plan is Santiago de Compostela. And how, how long have you given yourself to do this? About 35 days. Okay. So. So are you going to have time for rest days? Um, our rest days, uh, we have to move on our rest days. So yesterday was a rest day and we only walked about 8 kilometers. Okay, so that sounds like a good way to break it down. Yeah, it was really yeah. nice because we got to this, the town and we had the whole day to relax and catch up on laundry and yeah, oh yeah that's nice. Cool. And uh, do you guys have a reason why you're doing this? Um, I'm doing it just to kind of grow closer to the Lord and rely more on Him and trust Him a little more and just kind of it's a time of transition in my life and I just wanted to do it <laughs> same for you yeah same I definitely it's a it's a challenge of um, my spiritual journey with Christ um, I wanted to just like I don't know change change it up a little bit and see like where the Lord will push me it's a very much like a a time where you can like Think and you have so much time to think right. and pray right. and right. see what the um, where the Lord guides you. And my heart is just like really open for wherever the Lord wants to push me and pray about and think about. And too, just to like journey with one of my best friends. So yeah, that's yeah. that's really awesome. I think. I mean, I, that's the you know people people say, well, why are you doing the Camino? What's the reason? I think for us, there's so many different reasons, but the main reason is time. Yeah. Right. We, in our regular lives, we don't have the time to just think and be yeah. and mm -hmm. let things happen. And I think. I was saying last night at our group, we had a group thing in the evening and we were talking about, you know, what we're getting out of this and what we want to get out of it. And I said, this should be a college requirement. Yeah. <laughs> right? And yeah. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if you have a strong faith or no faith at all or where you are in the process, but it helps you figure out more about yourself yeah. and where you're going and what you want. And, and I think time allows us that. And we just don't get it in our real life, right? Yeah. So it is 7.45 in the morning, we're stopping for breakfast. We, uh, the place we stayed last night, they offered communal breakfast and it was, it actually sounded really good. Coffee, um, bread, croissants, the whole nine yards. But we, we wanted to get early. The views that you get between 6 a.m. and 7 a.m. are something else and, I mean, this is actually kind of nice being here at the tables. Our morning routine has now become no longer groceries. It's become what? Well, I mean, I still fancy we get groceries, but we haven't been too planned lately. So, pinchos de tortilla is egg and potato, and this seems to be my power breakfast food. Alma and I are breakfast people. We need a lot to eat in the morning, or we get hangry, very hangry. So, I had this yesterday for the first time, and now Avalon sold on it. Largo's doing the pano chocolat, Will's doing the croissant, and this seems to be our typical breakfast with a bunch of fruit thrown in. But we don't eat these if we're doing groceries. We just kind of have fruit and cereal bars and stuff like that. It's really tasty, though. It is really tasty. It's super tasty. And it's great power food to get us through the day. Yep. Hey, do you remember 20 something years ago? Those cold nights in December and the sound of the falling snow. The fireplace warming us. The VHS movie bar. Your old broke down touring bus And not a single cloud in the sky If I could go back in time I'd pack my bags right now If I could play back rewind I wouldn't think twice What's going on up there, Largo? I am king. King of what? Shing. King of hay. I'm king of Haylandia. And what happens in Haylandia? I jump over bales of hay. It's a fun place to be, huh? Yep. Largo, is Avalon your princess? No. Yeah, no. No? Haylandia. So when we left this morning, it was 45 degrees and it was um, 
well, it was cold and it was dark and usually what, when you leave in the morning you don't want to make a lot of noise and in the, where we were at last night with all the mats, I just wanted to pack up and take off so I didn't sort of change clothes so I'm still wearing my jammy bottoms from last night and I just shoved my shorts over it. We have to change now because obviously you walk, you sweat and you get hot so this is now sort of change of clothes time. What are you doing Jess? Um, I need to take a layer off. Oh my gosh! And I need to put a toe in one of my toe socks. Look, it was so early, we were incredibly tired that I have two toes in one, one sock, in one toe hole. So you need to turn that off right now because I need to take off this and I need to put this on. Okay. And, and just like that, shorts on. Let's get walking. You see when we're going our pace, we have plenty of time to finish the Camino. I mean, we've given ourselves an allotment of about 45 days to finish, which is very generous. Um, we have the ability now to stagger our days as much as possible um, so that we can decide where we want to rest, where we want to go. We're not sort of committing ourselves to like 25 or 30 kilometers a day. So planning our route is more like, where do you feel like stopping today? Which is so much like the Camino. You just sort of stop when you want to stop. You go when you want to go. We're not, we don't have flights booked for the way back that we have to hold ourselves to, which a lot of people do have. Okay, tour guide, where are we? Um, if we're, um, we're, we're here, we're going there. Where did we start today? Right we here? We started there. So, so we'd be going from there to there. We'd go all the way up to Villafranca. And then, That's far. And then part of this. So we're going to finish this one and then go all the way up to Villafranca. What time is it? Maybe we could have lunch in Bella Dora or whatever. And then Villafranca has two, it's a population of 200 people, so that's, that's really it. small. I'm glad that that's more that than mine's prevailing in this one. Stop! Catapult crossing! I'm just kidding, go ahead. <laughs> these guys, these guys just got a flat tire and emergency, emergency crews are here to assist. Everything's going okay? ¿Cuánto tiempo se lleva al cambiar la goma? Eh, minutos. 10 minutes, okay. ¿En cu ¿Cuántos días ya están en el camino? Cinco. Cinco días. Hasta que termina. ¿Y cuántos días hasta, hasta, hasta que llegue ahí? 15. 15 días. 15 días. Sí. En total. En todo, sí. En total. Ok. Buen camino. Buen camino. Chao. I, I caught you. I caught you on your phone. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Do you have proof? I just, yeah. You did walked, you video you me? You walked by the camera when you No, were, that's not true. You're just hot and sweaty and tired and you're getting delusional. <laughs> well. All right, yeah. I was on there, I admit. So. Will and I had an agreement that we would not um, check any social media stuff or return any emails while we were hiking unless we were on a break, like stopping for coffee or lunch or something. Um, I do take Insta stories throughout the day and then I post them at night once we get someplace. But I did just, I did just check, I did just check my email because I was expecting an email that I needed to reply to immediately. You caught me. I confess, I'm going to Camino Jail. That, tr that truck's gonna take you there. No kidding. I hope it's. I hope they have cheese there. I think they have cheese. <laughs> I, and some wine. And I haven't had much cheese on the Camino so far. You've had like no cheese. I'm kind of getting depressed. <laughs> I, I need to shake it up. I mean, I want. I just like to walk through France for just like a couple of kilometers. I they know have some not, good Spanish cheeses. They do, but I haven't seen them any place. Like they haven't been on the menu. I'm tired of pasta. I'm not Italy. I want cheese. La cocina está abierta. Sí. Ya está sirviendo el menú pellegrino. Sí. Ah, okay, perfecto. Okay. They're serving food. Woo! Oh my gosh, I love you for saying those words. So we have just entered into Belorado, and it is around noon. It's almost noon. The problem with sort of the, where we're at right now. And pizza. It's not, it's not even a problem. Pizza. Is that like around noon time? Did you see that? I'm sorry. I know, I know you're in the middle of something. Pizza. 
Oh, we haven't had that in a while. Yeah, Most I'm sorry, places don't something? serve lunch until about one o'clock in the afternoon. So we actually checked with her and made sure that uh, that serving lunch because if, if not, then we got to walk like another four kilometers. But they're serving food, and this is really good. Hawaiian. I haven't had that in a while. I'm so happy to see pizza. And when we left Italy, I said I was never eating pizza again. How soon I forget. How soon you forget. <laughs> I think your feet have forgotten what it feels like to be without pain. Oh gosh, they do hurt. They hurt. They're getting better, but they, they hurt. What if I open my soul? Here I stand by myself on my own. What if I lose oh all control? Oh, that was hard. And oh, take God. a step out into the much sleep last night we were cold now we're hot we had an ice cream after lunch I am gonna say we have another ice cream in the next city what do you think yes well I didn't the hear you no no there. oh that's not a city that's someone's house no that's a town we should knock on the door and say we need ice cream wait Camino wait Camino a lot a lot it's too bad oh. <laughs> It's too bad that Avalon is so far ahead of us at this point. Avalon has taken the uh, the Camino to heart, and she is now she's far. Avalon is like, look at her. She's like it's so far away. For someone who didn't want to come, I don't know if she's just racing to get it done, or she's really embracing it. But she is the girl is off. Avalon's slowly in her mind trying to plan her like sweet 16s party. Or plotting our death on the Camino. <laughs> Either way, she's a long plotting range our, Plotting thinker. our murder for us for taking her on the Camino. She's got like two and a half years still sweet 16s. I think, I think at 30 she'll appreciate this, don't you? I think she's appreciating it now. I mean, yeah, when no, else? she is. She actually is. She never really gets time to actually go out there and walk. And just be with her thoughts, right? Right. I mean, None of us do. I love it. No. I'm going I, walk on my own now. I'm time with my thoughts. Stop! What's going on, Avalon? Taking a break? Mm hmm You enjoying your little isolation time? Yeah. What are you reading? A book. How to, how to go ahead and mow the lawn behind you? How to convince your parents to do whatever you want in 101 ways. Well, guess what? What? We're going for ice cream now, too. Give me a second one. Way number 12 morning. works. What's that? I guess way number 12 works. What are you guys getting? You guys are going for the expensive stuff, huh? 3.7 kilometers away from where we're going. Okay, so I have a question for you guys. Long Sandy has a question. Come here. Yeah. So if we arrive at Via Franco, Via Franca, Montes de Oca, and we are landing at a place that has floor beds, floor beds, just like we had last night. Oh, take a 10-minute break and then go further. <laughs> you, you, you don't want to do that again. How far <laughs> will you walk to avoid that? Six kilometers. You'll walk an extra two hours to get there? We're not getting there that late anyway. I'd, right. walk with four. You. I'd walk two hours with you too, Avalon. I need a bed tonight. All right, let's 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 drive it home. All right. We're going to take 45, we're going to take 30 minutes to do 45 minutes worth of walking. We're going to run the last 10 minutes. All right, Logs, we're almost there. Come on, you can do it. We have arrived in Via Franca, Montes de Oca, in what appears to be a large truck stop. There's a lot of trucks going back and forth from here. It is 
The last 12 kilometers have not been exactly probably the best idea we had. We've made some pretty good decisions so far. This today I think should have been we should have called it off after 13 kilometers. You think so? I don't know. Let's go see what the beds look like. I hope they have beds. Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> By the way, it's about five o'clock right now, so Long eight to ten hours. All right, beds. Yeah. Beds. Beds. Oh, oh, hey, we made it. <laughs> Yay! I know. So here we are. It's got a bed. It's got a pillow. I don't see any blankets. I don't care. It's just squeaky. It stinks to the high heaven. Don't area. say that. It does. It stinks. It does. No, no. The beds don't squeak. That's good. Okay. And there's about 40 of us in. 50 of us in. It's a long day. Day 13. Wrap it up. Look in the window. Look at here. It's so bad. Look at there. Where? What? Oh my gosh. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. All right. We, I showered. And and I showered yesterday. So <laughs> together we are halfway showered. We're half half smelling nice. Today was a slog hard day. Today was it was what 25 kilometers on no sleep. I cannot start to talk about <laughs> what it's like to sleep on the floor <laughs> and then say, oh by Freeze the way. It out. Go ahead and just walk 25 kilometers after that. <laughs> 25 kilometers, by the way, if you're and interested, then, is like about 15 miles. And and then and then work for four hours. So we're not complaining. We're just telling you no. we are spent. We are really tired, and and yeah. we're not going to complain because God knows, mm -hmm. literally, what the pilgrims went through <laughs> like hundreds of years ago. And, and that's nothing compared because we're in a bed. And we're in a bed. Okay. And we, we have we have Wi-Fi and we have everything else. How much did we spend today? We spent. Not that much. Um, dinner was dinner was pretty expensive. Dinner was twenty seven. Was it? Mm -hmm. I wasn't there. Okay. Yeah. Then lunch was about fifty. So the talk, talk about seventy five. And then this we're place here. here was about forty. So wow. We're a little over budget today. Yeah, we're a little over budget today. We did have four ice creams each today. Almost yeah, three. we're like no about, we're like about one hundred and thirty for today. We're over our ice cream budget. Okay, so we started. I'm looking at my polar steps here because I can never remember where we started. We started in Grañón. Grañón, and, and we finished in Villa Nueva. No, Villa Francia, Monte Villa Francia, de Monte, Oca. Monte de Oca. Oca. Yeah, and there's then, no municipal here, so we're at. It's like a, a hotel. It's a hotel that has an auberge. Auberge here, and, and we're it's in a room. nine euros a pop, but they also charge you. But if you want blanket. a blanket, you can get a blanket for a euro. And let me tell you, after last night, Squirch. I would have paid ten euros per blanket. Would you? Well, I would have just gone someplace else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. I think I think I might be getting sick, so I'm gonna go take an emergency. It's freezing out here. We're gonna go to bed, and tomorrow's a new day. Tomorrow, I think we're only gonna do a half day because yep. we gotta get some work done. We do, but. We had a lot of fun today. The kids did. did remarkably well. We say this every day, but that they the did, kids do remarkably they did, well. They do. They do. They're really doing great. But they did particularly well today. Oh, I almost fell over, because they did this on very little sleep. And I think we all recognized that we were tired today, and we tried. To, we kind of tried to keep our space from each and other no a little really bit today. No one fought with each other. No one fought. No, um, really I think we had a really great day considering. So. Yep. So. Keto, good Camino, lots of day, ice cream end stops. Of day 13, right? Yep, okay. Talk to you guys later. Buen Camino and... Subscribe, tell your friends, comment. I got an itchy ear. What's going on? Yep, okay. <laughs> bye, bye bye. Laura, you're looking a little I'm tired kidding. there. You're doing a great job, Largo. You are, you are king for the day, Great Largo. job. When we get back... You could have a fourth ice cream for the day. No, I probably shouldn't do that because you might have diarrhea on the trail to do that.